the Isle of Anglesey is the gateway to Britain's second largest roll-on, roll-off ferry port. And yet freight heading to the port is still restricted by a single bridge. This bridge was built over 170 years ago. Let's discuss it on the Trucker's Eye. This is the Britannia Bridge. It links northwest Wales with the Isle of Anglesey. It crosses the Menai Straits and it was built in 1846 and completed in 1850 when it first opened 174 years ago. Its designer was a famous railway engineer called Robert Stevenson. As you can see, here in 2024, the bridge takes road traffic. That wasn't always the case. The bridge was originally designed as a railway bridge. But as you can see, in the older days, the bridge looked very different. And there is a very good reason for that. First though, we need to start our story in the port of Holyhead. As I stated in the intro, the port of Holyhead is the second busiest port for railroad traffic behind Dover. It is an extremely important gateway between the UK and Ireland, both for freight traffic and for general passengers. The railway station is just adjacent to the port for very easy access. There are two ferry companies operating out of Holyhead. They are Irish Ferries and Stenaline, who both operate between them up to six crossings a day. The crossings to Ireland take around three hours 30 minutes but can be done faster by the Dublin Swift which only operates in the summer. But back in the 90s these beasts were doing it even quicker. <laughs> Sadly, just 20 years later, the jet-propelled engine that was the Stena HSS crossing to Dublin was scrapped due to rising fuel costs. But it's not all bad news for Holyhead. There is currently plans for major expansion of the port, as you can see here. And with that expansion, up to 13,000 jobs could be created. But we started this video talking about a bridge. What has the port got to do with it? Well. It's quite simple really, with expansion comes more traffic. But even before any increase in traffic, is the current bridge fit for purpose? Well no, it's not. As you can see, traffic queues are common every single day. That's because the bridge provides a bottleneck. The A55 has been a dual carriageway for some time on the mainland side. Whilst on the Anglesey side, a new 20 mile stretch of dual carriageway was built and opened in 2001, all the way to Holyhead. This has left the Britannia Bridge as the only single carriageway section on the whole of the A55. As you may have just seen, queues are exaggerated because people don't use both lanes to queue for the bridge. We spoke last week in the Darrington video about people merging in turn. Also in that Darrington video, which I will link to at the end of this video, we spoke about people leaving the main carriageway to go via slip roads to rejoin the main carriageway again. And the same kind of drivers are doing the same thing here too. All that they are doing 
is making the traffic jam worse than what it needs to be. So let's enjoy the scenery before we discuss an even bigger problem than the current levels of traffic heading towards this bridge. Because this bridge has a story and we do not want history to repeat itself. In 1970, the bridge was ravaged by fire. Two boys had trespassed into the steel tubing that carries the trains across from one side of the bridge to the other, and being unable to see in the dark, one of the boys found a discarded magazine page and lit a match to make a torch. Unfortunately, the torch was dropped onto some timbers. This is what caused the fire. The fire ravaged through the steel tubing which carried the trains across the bridge. This weakened the structure and rendered the bridge useless. The story about how they redesigned the bridge with them famous arches is absolutely fascinating. There are a ton of videos on YouTube and I'm not going to go into this any further in this video. But I am going to ask the question, what would happen if this bridge was ever out of action again? There is, of course, another bridge not too far away. But this bridge is even older than the Britannia Bridge. It's also closed to any traffic above 7.5 tonnes, meaning that trucks cannot use it. And this bridge, of course, is the Menai Bridge. And meanwhile, the only link between the mainland and Anglesey was Telford's Great Suspension Bridge of 1826. Telford's bridge was never designed for the mass motor age let alone for the freight that ought to be crossing the straits by the train load. Having had the pleasure myself to drive over the Menai Bridge in a truck before the weight restriction was implemented, all I can say is, it is bloody tight. And we must remember, that video was filmed long before there was any sign of a road bridge across to Anglesey. And like I said earlier, if that Britannia Bridge is out of action, what is the alternative going to be for freight reaching Holyhead? And not just the freight going to Holyhead either. Freight goes all over Anglesey and serves the population there. Not to mention freight coming the other way from Ireland into the UK. Being on the Menai Strait, the bridge is already subject to many closures due to the weather. This is only October and already the wind is getting up as you can see in the video. So what's the plan? Well there was a plan but like anything to do with the UK and their road planning any kind of proactive foresight is non-existent. In this case the Welsh Government announced in February 2023 that they were going to cancel the plans for the third crossing citing they wanted to reduce car usage. It's almost as if every single thing you buy in the shops turns up by magic. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Trucker's Eye. If you have, please give it a like, do subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on The Trucker's Eye.